our next guest is a woman whose vital statistics are 36, 24, 36. Now, you straight away will be on the telephone saying, that's a very sexist thing to say, because we're very good at being sexist in this country. Oh, they'll be on like that. But, you see, in this case, those vital statistics are an important component in her life, because they are what have earned her a very lucrative income, an introduction to and a place in the world of international literati, because she began as a model. Yet such has been her success that 16 years later, uh, she published her own autobiography. She's a model, a beauty campaigner, an actress, a designer, a well-known jet setter, and last but by no means least, she's a mother of two young children, Elizabeth, who's five, and James, three and a half. Their father is Mick Jagger, and their mother is our next guest, Jerry Hall. Jerry Hall. Hello. Do sit down. Do sit down. Huh. Yes. Did you enjoy that fashion item then? Yes, very nice. Some of our. Fa nice. uh, did you like anything there? That you anything you saw there that you? Yes, I thought yeah. it was very pretty. Very pretty. Very yeah. Pretty. All right. Hey, listen, we were told that your sister and yourself are twins. Is that so? I have a twin sister, yeah. Terry J and Jerry Fay, and we were the biggest twins in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> biggest we twins were eight born. Eight and a half pounds apiece. Yeah. Eight and a half we're pounds. Big. Are you identical twins? No, no, we're not. Not at all like. We have the same taste in a lot of things. We get on real well. We never fight, which is rare to say about another person. <laughs> Sisters especially, mm. yeah. Mm. So where is home for you now, Jerry? Um, I live in London. My children go to school in London. And I also go, spend a lot of time in Texas and France and here and there. And New York, mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. a bit too. Yeah. Now, family and motherhood... And here. I'm and a regular here. here. Yes, I love I want, to come yes, here. I want to talk to you about that, yes. Mm -hmm. But family and motherhood, very important to you. Um, how, do you how do you manage this hectic life that you live, this international life, and look after your children as well? Um, well, I think that motherhood is my greatest achievement. And now that I've mastered the technology, there's no stopping me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have more. Um, I think children are so wonderful, so much fun and so gratifying and they make you act silly and make you remember a lot of fun things. But <laughs> what about looking after them on your... Well, looking your after jet? them is a chore, <laughs> but it's great fun too. And I take them with me a lot. They're not quite in school yet, so luckily we can still travel a lot. Mm. Next year, Elizabeth will be in real school, so I'll have to s settle down a bit more. And who looks after them when you're away? Well... They either are with me or with Mick or with the nanny. Mm. Mm. Mick is good looking after Yes, her, is he, he is. We try and um, spend a lot of time with him. If one's away, the other one tries to stay with him. Mm. Well, now you're you're actress. You've done stage work. You've done modelling. You're, you're, I mean, you're into everything. What are, what are the priorities? If I leave the children now alone for, for a moment, work-wise, what are your priorities now? Well, I enjoy work, and um, I love acting. It was great fun. I did Bus Stop, which was a good success of the play, and New York, and it's now coming to the West End in London in September. With you? Yes, with oh, me, good. yes. And I just acted in Batman, where I played the girlfriend of Jack Palance and Jack Nicholson. Wow. Two-timer. Wow. And that was great fun. That comes out in America in June. And I think it comes out in England um, a, bit, a couple months later. Yeah, go back to Bus Stop for a minute. How long mm. did you run in Bus Stop as Marilyn? It was Miranda? a summer stock theatre, so it was yeah. only for a few weeks. But hopefully it'll run longer in London. Did you, in order to play that part, did you do much work on Marilyn Monroe? Did you find out a lot no, about her? No, I didn't. I didn't want to be like her. I thought that the, the character was um, a lot like... My background, you know, girl from a small town who wanted to go out and make it and things. So I was trying to use as much as my own experience as I could. I thought that if I tried to copy Marilyn Monroe, she was so great and those are big hills to step into. And I thought, well, I'd better just try and not copy her, <laughs> do it my own way. Good. And, and, and the Batman then, um, Jack Nicholson, we know about. I, I, God forgive me, I thought Jack Palance was dead. No, no, he's certainly not dead. He's wonderful. Is, is he as sneaky looking in real life as he usually is? He's, he's usually, amazing looking. Yeah, he's usually the guy, he's usually yeah. the nasty in the cowboy He's picture, a bad you know? guy in this movie, yeah. too. Uh, he, all in black. Mm. He looks so yeah. sinister. Mm, yeah. Is he a nice man? On the very movie? nice, very yeah. nice. And Jack Nicholson clearly is, yeah, because he's, he's godfather to, mm. uh, to which? To... Yeah. Um, to one of your children. To James. To James. So is his girlfriend, Angelica yeah. Houston. And she's oh, Irish. 
Oh, well, I mean, yeah. yes, indeed. I know she spent a lot of time here. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So he, he would be a close friend of the family, would he? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, now, how much modelling do you do now, then? Um, I still do certain campaigns and do some modelling. I do a lot of modelling with my swimwear. And um, I enjoy modelling. It's a great profession. It's paid well and lots of travel, and I think it's a great job. Um, I'm actually here. I came here, actually, for holiday, because I love to come here. <laughs> And it just coincided that we did this show and talked about the swimmer. But I was coming here to see Lee Slip Castle and Castletown, and I just discovered a wonderful book called Banishing Country Houses of Ireland. I know it. It's yes. wonderful, it's yeah. A lovely book, yeah. And so I was here on holiday, so it was, yeah. it was lovely. That and you're, you're spending time with Desmond this. Guinness, are you? And in, <laughs> in, 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 that, in that lovely mm. place, yeah. So, so tell me about Ireland then. How come you, you that's the contact for coming here, but why do you, tell us why you love Ireland so much. Then. Because um, I like the way everyone sings after dinner. <laughs> it's so much fun. Everyone always sort of parties and sings. <laughs> Everybody sings after Well, the people I know do. <laughs> you know, we, I see a lot of Patty Maloney and things. We always have music and singing. It's always fun. Mm. And there's so many beautiful places to see. Ruins and castles and lovely houses. Mm. I like shopping here, too. <laughs> well, we do sing after dinner in our house every night. <laughs> Kathleen takes out the harp, and <laughs> opens the fridge door, the light goes on, she does an hour and a half. <laughs> then little Susie goes into the piano and she does an hour and a half on piano. Crona stands up and sings, complains mostly, and uh, that takes up another hour. Gee, that gets us on two o'clock in the morning. I mean, we, we all do it. All over Ireland we, we do that. Do you, do you sing in your house? Yeah, Daddy? we sing every night, then we do the rosary and then things like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>